straight out of a cone. Yeah, no, yeah, America yeah. Chavez on here too. Yeah, uh-huh. America Chavez is also in the multiverse of yeah. madness. Yeah. So yeah. Let me switch universes real quick. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a sidebar. What do y'all? Who do y'all think, or or should they recast uh, Black Panther? So this this is my this is this is the theory how I felt with that and what they could do to where we could kind of still save face. Like I don't think they should recast this Earth's Black Panther. What I think it happened is, and this is just me and what I've seen already. So, like, when everyone went back in Spider-Man No Way Home, you could play it to where everyone didn't go back. Or if it further gets down the line, people are starting to cross multiverses. You could have a version of Black Panther that ends up in our MCU in which his planet got destroyed. And that's how he ends up here. And then that could be the one who was that actually went to America, got the American education, then came back Luke to Charles. Wakanda. Yeah, but then that also opens up Wakanda forever for us to learn something that we didn't get to really know about was the Chitauri and where the vibranium came from in Wakanda. They never covered that yet, which I hope they will cover in Wakanda, but that also ties now into Galactus and another reason why Reed Richards would show up. Now, I also do have one thing that's also... Out there throwing it and reaching. <laughs> Hear me <laughs> out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Go ahead and bust that reach open. <laughs> I think Angela Bassett is storm. All right. Okay. Now, uh, I think Angela Bassett is storm. Okay. I think the story you already talked about already happened. Wait. And that's please, she please, is. Will, let me interrupt you respectfully, <laughs> AF. Respectfully. Okay, Will. Now you know that I truly consider you a friend. I love you, Will Farrell. I've known you for many years. Okay, you know this. You might not know what I'm about to say, but I will say, Geek said I still think you're not narcotic. However, <laughs> Will, that is the greatest statement I've ever heard because Whoa. I looked at her in part one and I said, "Huh, this when is interesting." Yes, I, seen them dreads, I was like. Yo, that but might be Storm. His father was a Panther first. Yeah. True. Then they were supposed to be married. Why wouldn't that be your child's yeah. mom in this universe? And if you look at it, the, the picture we always see with Storm and Black Panther is the exact fit his father wore Ooh. in the first Black Panther. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't catch that one. Okay. Ooh. Right. So now, again, too, what could have happened as well is we also got Nick Fury. We got S.H.I.E.L.D. Who's to say she wasn't sent there, had her name changed mm. to protect her? And she'd been rocking there this whole time, which, again, another way of layers to show that mutants have already been there this entire time. And that means Charles Xavier is somewhere around here I don't along like with Magneto. I don't, I don't like this, man. I don't like I, that's how you fix stuff. That's how you like. Yeah, we've been here the whole time. We haven't had any incidents at all. We haven't used our powers in the past 20 mm. years. I hate that. But, well, no, but, but no, 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 no. Remember, remember all of this stuff we don't know about. Same thing with like Miss like Captain Marvel. Like, we didn't know that Ben happened. I didn't yeah. like the fact that that's she what they got the whole time. She was an order. Yeah, but they also had that incident none of us knew about. Like, we never yeah. knew, like, that's yeah. how he knew Captain Marvel. Right. So that's how all of these incidents have happened and stuff like that. But when you look at it, and this is why I'm going along with that theory who's to say that all the mutants are the same age, right? So if you got Storm, Storms, by her ability, she could be old AF or whatever. However, that doesn't change the fact that you could have, and that still makes sense for whenever we meet Wolverine. Because you know Wolverine lives to what, uh, 320 or something like that? And the crazy thing about that, just to add to you so you can keep going, yeah. We're now in the year 2025. That's the same year Logan is happening. Old man Logan is happening at the exact same time we're in in the MCU right now. But that's Fox's universe. And the only reason I'm not going to give them, I'll give that acknowledgement, but it's definitely in a different universe. Because yeah. for this to make sense for the Marvel universe and then bringing in the mutants, I'm still cool with Sir Patrick Stewart playing Professor X. I'm still great with Ian McClellan playing uh, Magneto. But at the same time, I loved uh, both of the young boys as and Magneto and Professor Michael X. Fass- yeah. Michael Fassbender and uh, James McAvoy. And yeah. Michael Boy. Like, I love their performances. So if we can, I really, to be honest, guys, honest truth, if we could bring all four of them into some sort of story for the Multiverse of Madness, 
to introduce mutants, I'm down with. Yeah. I'm not mad at showing uh, original Wolverine, but I know he's not going to continue doing a role. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see him in like Deadpool as a cameo. Yeah. And that be about it. I would love to see a new Wolverine. I mean, they already cast yeah. the Wolverine I wanted as Venom, but you know, so, like, I would yeah. love to see him. Man, I, I'll you think he could have killed it? He Tom Hardy is the comic book standard Wolverine. Okay. His name's like four yeah. foot three. Yeah. Yeah, he's the exact match for him. Like, I want the like rabid Wolverine, like the bone claws. Like, yo, when you added metal to him, that's when it really became Weapon X. Yeah. Like, I want that yeah. version, but we already got him as Venom. So I, I look forward to see who they might cast as him. But I do and have a question though that ties in with this. Bring now it. that we've seen Kane the Conqueror, yeah, is Reed Richards gonna be black? Because Kang is Reed's great great grandson. Mm. So does that mean someone mm. in the Fantastic Four is black? Well, I mean, is Kane the Conqueror really black though? Because remember, he just takes on different forms. Right. So I mean, he is, uh, he, I he mean, he's he black. black. Yeah, he's black. He's black. He's black. I know, I know. But I'm just saying, is he is, is, is he considered a human? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, no, he's no. In the in the story, he's human. He's his actual name is Ned Richards. Uh, he is. No, 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 I know um, that. I'm talking about the king that we've seen on camera right now. Even though we know it's Jonathan Majors and everything like that, is that character right now as established considered a human? So it's like. He can still be a C, be you know. Experience. Yeah. Well, the Council of Canes that you know they can all mm -hmm. kind of come together. You know how they have a bunch, a whole bunch of Loki's, different colors, yeah. mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. versions of uh, of Canes. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen too. So we've already seen um, yeah. the old version of him. And then when Loki went off, you saw the Conqueror, the yeah. statue, and stuff like that. So it is established that. And then uh, also too, he's told he told the story when he was a scientist. Yeah. So. Technically, I guess he would be, but like you said, we never know if he's human. And then another thing that CT said, nervous, now that I started noticing, was that mutants don't age that much. Mm -hmm. So it's not crazy to say that the young Magneto and the young Professor X could still be here. And then, too, I still I still tied to saying, I don't care what nobody say. That uh, Scarlet Witch is... Magneto's da uh, daughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm letting y'all know that now. That is Magneto's kid. Why? Because I remember. If you remember, go watch X Men Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And again, if you tie it in, do y'all remember where his what? base was? Yeah, he kept saying like a. He said, uh, "Do you know my mom and, and my, my dad?" Oh, not just that part. And you, 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 so you 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 remember when when they went when they went over when Dark Phoenix went to go talk to him, mm -hmm. and he had that whole base in that little haven. That was Sokovia. Mm. Well, in the comics, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, that's if they're trying to get comic book accurate, they have to because you know, like if they do um, House of M storyline, like because that's, I mean, and, and that's why I thought when I was watching um, uh, WandaVision, I thought that they was going to kind of lean into that because remember, she she snaps, that's what happens, mm -hmm. yeah. have that whole moment in House of M. So, I can definitely. I could, like if they're once they start establishing mutants and start getting like actually now addressing that yes there are mutants and everything then yeah then we, we, might, do we, start getting into that. we might do a reverse house of them because uh, when Scarlet when Scarlet Witch said no more mutants she might say we need mutants or you know bring in the mutants oh, bring or go in further and go it, further it, with the point when you yeah. look at uh when you look at Fazbender or Fazbender, when you look at Magneto mm -hmm. being her father in general, let's go back to WandaVision. All right, and this is a testament to Kevin Feige. WandaVision cast a uh, Quicksilver actor from the Fox yeah. universe as yeah. her brother instead of the one who played her brother in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. And now let's go even further. If you've been watching Hawkeye, if you haven't, what I'm about to say is a spoiler. When you look at the Kingpin, yeah. the Kingpin. We already know the Netflix rights uh, reverted back. So, you know, Disney has control of their character, but they cast uh, D'Onofrio mm -hmm. as Kingpin. Now, I'm not saying that, uh, and we just saw Daredevil in No Way Home. Now, right. I'm not saying that they're bringing the exact same uh, storylines with them from Netflix. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, no, but, no, it's confirmed. Just to get you oh, know, it's confirmed. Uh, amazing. Uh, uh, no, Kingpin uh, actually said it in the interview. His story from Daredevil is yep. the exact same. It's picking up right from um, when he uh, got arrested. Yeah, so if it, that's the all case, of that is canon. 
if that's the case, then now we got Kingpin and we have Daredevil in this universe. Yep. So who's to say that they couldn't just bring in um, the Quicksilver actor and Fassbender into this world because they own them now? Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess uh, one of the I wanted to just take it back real quick. Because when you talk about also who can take over Black Panther, but just in general, if what it was established in what if. With the multiverse of madness, we saw a character directly pulled from multiverse of, uh, from what if and brought into real life, right? So it was like we know that you know in what if we know that Killmonger was Black Panther. If they're cha- if they're changing up the universe and, and opening up that world, you could have that what if version of Killmonger be the new Black Panther, a way to kind of bring him back because it's like oh yeah no this is a different universe person, but he has a different perspective now with everything that he went through and what if. Yes, and, and then they tell him everything that the other black um the um the other uh Killmonger went through. His perspective is going to be completely different in this new universe. Even more simple because we're thinking too complex now. And this is a, this is what happened with WandaVision. We were all like, "Yeah," right. and they go show Mephisto, and then and we're like, "No, nah, we overthought it. It we was did. simple." So <laughs> I'm with all of these, and I agree. But I'm saying let's take it even more simple. When I'm talking about the DC universe, and I'm talking about Flashpoint. There's something that happens in a Doctor Strange trailer that wraps all of this up because this shows the two different companies think the exact same way. When you mess with time, things happen. So that simple statement of Doctor Strange messing with time and messing with the multiverse can simply show Killmonger being Black Panther or showing Mm -hmm. that Shuri was Black Panther this entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of Chadwick characters dying, yeah. literally she's been the black. Like so we don't know what's going to happen, but mm-hmm. when you mess with time, yeah. <laughs> everything and, changes. And having, also too, hold on, buddy, go ahead, Leon. Having the production when they already had a whole script ready to go. With uh with uh Chadwick Boseman as the the main character. And then when he dies, can you imagine the scramble of like how can we save this script? How can we use what we have to show him? Do we keep his mask on the whole time? Do we kill him off? Do we send him on a mission? I'm thinking, like, I don't know how they're going to fix this. Yeah. I hope yeah. it's not like a quick, like, oh, who is this? You're the new Black Panther. Like, I'm trying to figure yeah. out, are they going to have, well, like, like uh, the, the mask on the whole time? Like, we going on a mission? Well, no, rumor rumor was given that um, they are going to, like, put in there that he did pass. Like, they said, like, I think in the beginning of Wakanda Forever, there's a statue of him in Wakanda. And stuff like that. No, 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 no. They're just, they might explain what happened and stuff like that, but that's going to be it. Like, they, like, <laughs> most, most of Wakanda. They outfit on them, <laughs> on a mission. And uh, didn't, didn't come back like they did with Paul Walker. On the, uh, I hate that. Uh, yeah. I hate that. That's I'm not because it's like that, but that's why I'm like, yo, like, that's why I'm like, yo, acknowledge it. And yeah. then, like you said, let it kind of have that scramble of who's next. Like, outside of the, the idea I've had of, like, bringing it from another universe, the way I saw it was make Shuri queen and then introduce um, – Who's the, the ball headed chick uh, that runs the uh, the, the Nicole, secret yeah. agency? Nicole, yeah, make her Black Panther because there's a mm-hmm. version of her that's like that with the fur uh, thing right here, and there's yeah. there's a suit of the female Black Panther. Make her Black Panther. Well, see, that's the thing. So many people take on the Black Panther mantle. Mantle. I mean, Killmonger was it before, and Baku. You know, like there's so many people that was it. But I'm gonna keep it a bean. Out of all the movies that are coming, what kind of forever is the one that I'm the really nervous. like most scareful, nervous. Of. I mean, yeah. ner- nervous about because not only with Chadwick, but then with everything that's going on. You know, with Letitia Wright and. Yeah, she and quit, I, I'm just so nervous about this. Well, she, she got COVID, then she got hurt, and then like she refused to take the vaccine. Yeah, it's just like so that. much. It's so yeah. much going on with this movie behind the scenes that I'm like, fam, I, I don't even. I don't even know if I want it right now because it's like it, it just seems like it's nothing's going right with this movie. I mean, I mean, having the whole script done, and yeah. be like, hey, the main characters on one. Yeah, here's the problem. Yeah. And I, I, first of all, I agree with everything that you gentlemen are saying. The problem, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, is the thing that nobody's going to say. And I'm going to say it because this is the truth. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan was so good as Killmonger 
the movie was still out and nobody even mentioned any of the characters in the film. Yeah. It wasn't until uh, the late great Michael, uh, late great Michael, the late great Chadwick Boseman passed that it wasn't even five days that people were like, Hey man, Killmonger should be Black Panther. It's like, hey man, wait a minute. Right. But, that, <laughs> but, but, he, but he could be the one that ties in with the story I said coming from another yeah. earth and then just let Michael B. Jordan be that. And my, then it's what, still kind of Wakanda. They have the technology to bring somebody back. They probably put one of those things or something. They can heal them real quick, take the knife mm -hmm. out, put a little because Killmonger didn't die. die. Like we can say that. Like if you if you make movies, you know, if you didn't see him die, he didn't die. We saw him keel over on the cliff when he watched no, the sunset. No, 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 you could have passed out because of the pain. Like the fact, <laughs> the fact he sat there with a knife in his shit that whole time. I'm with you on this one. I'm with and you on this one. Going to shock that, like yeah. yo, that just showed but how tough he was. They did. Sh they did say that they would not recast T'Challa. And we yeah. know that Kevin Feige is a man who's very literal with his words. Yeah. He didn't say we won't have another character take up the mantle of Black Panther. He just said we will not recast yeah, T'Challa in this universe. Also, oh yeah, and then also make that last point very clear. Earth 616 T'Challa yep. will not be recast. Yeah, he said that. That's and why would you say that if you weren't going to bring in a different right. black man? That's, I didn't know he said that exactly like that. Then that's yeah. all, it's pretty much confirmed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You bring it in another black man, but I'm saying in, in, in the CW in the universe, universe, in the CW universe, they did that with us with Wells all the time. They kept on in saying that. Right? <laughs> but, but it was deep. like, oh, he's Nash now. No, no, he's not. Nash. He's <laughs> he's oh, now he's However, when you see, and this is a t another testament to Chadwick, bro. Yes. We would love to see another black. We would love to see Michael B. Jordan play Black Panther. However, if it's not Michael B. Jordan, any black man on this planet that is playing Black Panther will be hated if it's not Michael B. But see, that's why I say that's why I say make old girl from the uh, Dora Milaje Black Panther. Why? Because just like how you said, dudes, who doesn't want to see a, a, a woman Black Panther? But then also too. One, she's not of royal descendage. So one, that's already going to be the burden she got to overcome. Like imagine the scene when she got to go face the ancestors and yeah. they don't want her to get off of her knee and she has to stay like this. And it's like, yo, because you're not royalty. So it's like, what do I do holding this mantle? But then also, why too, why, why, why bringing in Napita? You don't think she'd be a good one? No. Uh, no. Napita Louis. No, I don't know. You know, I like Lapita if they did a Disney Plus series on yeah. the espionage of Wakanda. Like, I want to see that part. I would love I that. I want to see her go on the missions and stuff yeah. like I she was talking about. I want to see those and her interact with the Dora Milaje. I don't really want to see her being the protector of Wakanda and stuff. Yeah. I want to see the protector of Wakanda, somebody who wanted to be a Wakanda. She was trying to leave every five minutes. <laughs> right. yeah, I I have to that's more of a story. That's more of a story. Like, where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? <laughs> like, we got everything. We got to get Starbucks. I'm what going to about? Nigeria. Get, uh, we, get, 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 we already want to go to Compton. Like, we, got, we got everything here. here. We got everything here. You don't want to be the king? <laughs> Man, but we go, we gonna see, man. But like I see T say, I think we definitely overthinking it, and they are gonna yeah. hit us with something so simple. It's always we, simple. It's gonna be super we, simple. We gonna be so Yo, because when we look at Spider Man No Way Home, bro, and I'm telling you, before the movie came out, Kevin Feige said, "Please lower your expectations. I don't want anybody to get disappointed." Right? Right. And I was like, "But why would you have all of their villains and you don't bring them back?" Right? And then you watch the movie. What's the simplest way that they went? Doctor Strange was casting a spell for Peter. Yep. Peter was Peter too much, which while we on the subject for I finished that part. I hate the fact that they called it the Peter Tangle and never once called it the Spidey Sense because that's oh, that hilarious. hilarious. Come on, man. And it was so funny though. And then he converted Toby and then he was like, Y'all got the tingle? He's like, Yeah, we got the tingle. Yeah, we got the tingle. He was like, oh yeah. come on. What? But <laughs> so all of that, he was he was doing his Peter thing as being a teenage boy and ruined the spell. And that's what brought everybody here when we all thought it was going to be something else. Yeah. So it's like Kevin Feige is a simple but genius man. And people were so mad about that. They were just like, yo, it was so stupid for them to go, oh, we're going to try to save them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, yo, like, but that's what make you really go to like, yo, 
we need to get back to simplicity. Yeah, because my biggest argument for that was like, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. This is all Tony Stark's fault. And then none of y'all say, oh, it was real dumb when he made Ultron. He fucking made Ultron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. brought this to Earth. I'm like, so yo, like we we're not gonna try to get into the schematics of the right decisions when it comes yeah. to superheroes. But to, to shoot him some bell, he was against it. It, it, it I may lay it on think like four different interactions with them, like you know, you guys doing and really convince him to do so because his original thought process was like, we gotta send them back. So yeah. <laughs> so we got we, we gotta we gotta keep it a beam. Like he he was he, it wasn't like he just immediately was like, Yeah, no, he fought it for he fought it for a while. Oh, yeah. He did. Shout out to Zendaya too. Zendaya was a real. She was like, "I'm finna hit this button." <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. Love, and then we see Andrew. All the villains together having the conversation. Like, you died, bro. I love that part. Like, it was all on the move. Jamie like, Fox. Yeah, I got, love Black like, Hope. Hey, oh I, shit. I was about to. He's like, hey yo, what happened to me? What happened to me? I don't know. You just disappeared. Man. <laughs> I loved it. I was like, this is crazy. This is like yo. Versus. That movie, bro. Let me because we because I'm talking about the overall joints, but that movie, man, Jamie Foxx oh, is my God. obviously one of the greatest comedians of all time. However, in this movie, let me tell you how good he was in this movie. I ignored the fact that he was a completely different character than the Amazing Spider-Man Two. He right. was that good. Comb over. No comb Reason over. Reason 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 he didn't. No, he's the only one that did not know who Spider-Man was. They never revealed his face to him. That was the only loophole in that whole movie. Well, no, uh, he, he, no, no, he knew. No, no, he knew who Andrew was because they told him. No, no, no. no but at the, at the moment that he was pulled. He at the moment he was poor, he didn't. But I do like the fact that he like even like the, the go to like Jamie's comedic timing and just how he's written. Like I love the fact that even the interaction. He said, "Man, you know, what I'm saying you you help a lot of people in the hood, man. I thought you was gonna be black, you know." Oh, and, and I also love the fact that just like black folks, once you get into a better situation, you like I ain't trying to go back to that old situation. He was like, "Yo, he was like, I got, I would listen, I got my own. He was like, I, I came up, I don't want to go Bro, back. This <laughs> how this how good he was in this movie. Did nobody question how the hell he got his body back? Nobody. 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 Like, how did you materialize skin? Yeah. 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 Nothing gonna mention that I'm butt ass naked. At no. all. We was like, so, yo, hey, I'm cool. I don't care. When he did this, and this is to go to your point, Dion, where you said I was the only loophole. I'll give you half of that because in the Amazing Spider-Man 2, I can accept that Harry may have told him that this is who Spider-Man is. However, he would have never um Without Harry telling him that, he wouldn't have shown up to Earth, but I mean, on this universe. But at the same time, for him to have that conversation saying, I always thought you would be black, doesn't make sense if you knew who I was to get to this universe. Right. So yeah, I'll give I think, you that. And I think that's why I came in incorrect because I think uh, Electro, I think Jamie really just recognized the suit. Yeah. And I think mm. that's what really what it was like. Well, yo, like, and I think he was the point of really correcting that of like, yo, you're not Pete Burke because Doc Ock didn't catch that. It's like, if you just came back, and I think that was one of the biggest mess ups, is like if you just got here, you weren't fighting him dressed like that. No. So that's obviously not him. <laughs> You've never fought him dressed like that. So why would you think that's your Peter Parker? And this is uh, the only one that had different suits. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, Jamie is the one that really kind of kept that 100. Like, yeah. I don't know who you are, but I can definitely recognize Spider Man eyes and yours, right. or yours moves. Yeah. So I know yeah. you ain't the one I'll be messing I with. I know it. Time. Yeah. That movie and, was and so Jimmy Fox came in, he had the black suit on inside out. He had his suit inside out because of the, the green space. Yeah. So he, he, yep. he was totally different. He like the yep. night monkey from uh from uh, no <laughs> from, from, from far from all <laughs> the night monkey got an upgrade. Yeah, but but uh but y'all did mention something that, and I know a, a majority of you have to say job prediction, so I do have uh two more myself and one does time with Dion, but there's something that you had mentioned ct when it came to kingpin and that's something mm. that i did want to bring up and that is talking about the reinsurgence of the netflix mcu man i just mm. went back and rewatched all of this and i don't care what Jesus. nobody said hold on, hold on. Hold on. even oh. i this nope. i'm gonna say that i'm not to disagree <laughs> this, this is all i'm gonna say this is all i'm gonna say <laughs> 
for Iron Fist, you should have got rid of season one and started season two with season one. That would have kept everybody interested. But instead, you 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 gave too much fluff and don't nobody care. Yeah. But the fact that, like you said, we got Kingpin now running around like we've seen in Hawkeye, but what just and like we saw Daredevil uh in Spider-Man No Way Home, but what I just could not get over that whole time and thinking, I'm like, yo, the Punisher is running around somewhere mm-hmm. in the hell's kitchen right now. Yeah. yeah. And we and so now I'm just like, yo, I just my fingers crossed. Yeah, I need blade. Daredevil, Kingpin, Spider-Man, and the Punisher in some kind of series or some kind of cameo together. You know who you didn't say? Luke Cage, Jessica Jones. (laughs) I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. I was getting them. Uh, Hey there. What? Come on. Come on. Luke Luke, Luke Cage. No, no. You know Luke Cage gonna have a black moment with War Machine. You know, or you know he's gonna have that moment with Don Cheeto. Well, I'm trying to figure out like how you would tie because he's technically a bad guy now. Because it's like, yo, remember how they left him? He's running the club now and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know where you pick up with him now for season three. Like even like with Jessica Jones, like two, both of them are kind of just like you can throw them into the mix. Like Daredevil, Punisher, y'all got stories that y'all can keep going off of. Unless you decide to have the three of them be the heroes for hire, and you start to do the uh, the ladies of the of the fist, which was with uh, yeah. with Jessica Wick, and then uh, the lady that was missing her arm. So it's like that; those nice. three kind of need each other. But Punisher, <laughs> Daredevil, no. But Je- isn't, isn't Jessica Jones still a PI? Like, isn't she still operating her PI service as well? She she is, but I just want to see her get knocked down by Luke Cage and have the kid, like in the comic book. Like, I was just, I'm ready for that. How much crime is happening in New York that they don't even acknowledge them in the new, in the in the universe? So it's Man, like, that's <laughs> what it's like, yeah, it's whatever. Spider Man, like, let's, 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 let's solve these banks. Let's, let's, these bank there are so <laughs> many superheroes in New York that it's like my thought was always: if I'm a superhero, why don't I just go down to Florida? Everybody's in New York, <laughs> right? It's too right. right? Well, yeah. but then it's like, but then it's like, if, if all the crime is happening here, I don't want to go to Florida and there's no crime, then I can't really do anything. I got these powers for nothing. It's like, but <laughs> no how you going to compete with Iron Man <laughs> if you're the, but the Punisher though, the Punisher was the only series out of all of those. Uh, I'm sorry, Daredevil and the Punisher stories were the only two that never had a lull that you were never like, oh my God, this is trash. Like right. the, uh, the Punisher got better with season two. Daredevil got better every season. Um, and when I saw the introduction of the Punisher on Daredevil, I was like, oh, my God. Luke Man. Cage season one until that final two episodes. I was yeah. like, this is great. And then yeah. they had to bring in his brother with that bullshit ass costume. Then right. season two, you know, it was basically the Jamaican season. And I was like, I love Jamaicans, but I don't think that they were like this season. <laughs> nah, but I, I was like, I love Bushmaster, but I was like, I don't, I don't That's like it. this story. It started out strong with Bushmaster, and then it was just kind of the story, just kind of. Um, but like I said, Jessica Jones gave us one of the best Marvel villains, and Kill Killgrave is here, and villains Killgrave was so good, so, so good. That was season one. That yeah. was season one. Well, season two. Like well. she didn't have two more. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. When they started trying to give, her, when they gave her, they gave her her friend. Pop, was that her sister friend? Uh, uh, Tigers. Tigers. Tigers, Tigers yeah. 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 I didn't like. I didn't like her story arc. <laughs> I didn't like the story. I didn't like the mom story arc. I was like, what? What, what is this habitat for humanity shit going on? Why is this going on? Is what I was thinking, bro. It was like. You then the defenders. Disney, what is idea? You know what Disney Plus is doing though. What. When they do seasons, that's essentially three movies of the Marvel. They, oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They get you familiar with them really, really fast. So it's mm-hmm. like Hawkeye mm-hmm. proved that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hawkeye did that because they were supposed to have a Hawkeye movie. They was like, ah, show. Yeah. Here's the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show. Like, show Bro, when we talk about this, and this is my biggest gripe when it comes to a ball that was fumbled by Feige. And the Feige is the GOAT when it comes to giving fan service, right? I wish DC had a Feige. We almost did, but they got rid of him. Yeah. Now, when I'm looking at Marvel Universe and I'm looking at Feige, Feige was dead wrong 
to not give Hawkeye and Black Widow movie <laughs> the before the Avengers came out. Yeah. Because, yeah. listen, bro, when you look at the Hawkeye show, you're basically looking at the introduction for the new Avengers, and yeah. you're looking at a man who's on one last leg. We yeah. never got a chance to see Hawkeye in his prime. When we saw Black Widow, I'm like, you can't get two more movies out of this shit. No. She can't. <laughs> what are well, you, you know, doing? You know, but, you, but you know, too, they messed up because of the pandemic hitting and because yeah. of how Disney did yeah. it. Um, because they wanted to come out in theaters, so Black Widow, I mean, so Scarlett Johansson could make her money, but it kept yeah. getting pushed back, and then yeah. they brought it to streaming anyway. So it's like, why did y'all make us wait if that was the case and stuff yeah. like that? So it's just like, like yeah. you said, they dropped the ball when yeah. it came to that, but, but not even that; they were too late. Like yeah. it should have yeah. been it came out 2013. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Being too late, they they dropped I'm the ball. This has never happened in the comic books, but I tell you where where Iron Man dropped the ball. Why don't they all have Iron Man suits? <laughs> like this, a different version, like a Black Widow Iron Man suit that she can still do the same things, well, but like, protected. Or Iron Man, like I mean, like Hawkeye has like an Iron Man suit, so he can get shot. But yeah, she can, fuh, 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 like that. Like we thought about the yeah, Like why you you can make time traveling quantum realm suits. <laughs> Protect but your friends, man. You couldn't make them a nano suit to protect all of them, and they. Yeah, what he had to do, man. He, he had he had a battery that was killing his heart. Like, he, had, he, no, he got rid of that. That white no, privilege no, helped. No, that. He I, made I, a whole new. Element. No, I'm just saying all the stuff that he had to deal with. He was trying to protect the world. He was he was trying, like he he had a lot that he was dealing with. He had time to make everybody suits. <laughs> in in Tony Stark's defense, Tony Stark offered to make everybody suits, Wait. and they each rejected him. Because if you go back to the Avengers film, when he came across everybody, he was telling them things that would improve what they have. And they were all like, ah. And he was yeah. like, all right. And, um, like he Cap, offered it. Cap really shot that down with the whole, like, you know, take that away from you. What are you? So we definitely know yeah. he wasn't going to go <laughs> no. in armor and stuff yeah. like that. No. But, but at the same time, Thor and Hawk did good, but Black Widow. Uh, <laughs> you know, y'all need oh y'all need some Mach Four. <laughs> human people, like y'all need something. Y'all human. Some humans. iron knee pads or something. Some <laughs> iron knee pads. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You think about it, Black Widow. Like, if you had some Iron Man tech, you, you probably would have survived that fall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's dark. Dark. That's dark. You, can you can you trick that? Like, yeah, you can't trick, you can't trick the red skull like you're right, not can you, can you trick the <laughs> you're not getting it. Like <laughs> you're like, not like, getting the soul soul soul. Soul. I see you. I see you. <laughs> but that's why I love, and I hate to keep going back to this, but it's a work of art. It's like seeing Spider-Man stripped of all of that tech yeah. because yeah. I think this movie, and whether anybody says it or not, we now respect Tom Holland Spider-Man. We always liked him mm -hmm. because it's like, oh, he's the one who gets to play in a Marvel sandbox, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that movie stripped him of all his friends, all these suits, all of these things that make his superhero job easier. Now it's all on you. And yeah. that's why we liked it. Because from the very beginning, he never had to stand on his own. He had Iron Man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Once you got Iron Man in your pocket, even part two, he had Iron Man because he had Iron Man tech. And you know what else that where we earn respect for this? Um, out of all the Spider Mans, this was the first Spider Man that we saw live action that didn't pull their punches. Because when yeah. he was fighting, when he was fighting Green Goblin, and he was giving them them hands, hands giving them to him. and that's the first time. Like I said, we knew, we all know, especially if you watch the comics, because Spider Man them beat Wolverine's ass, he them beat. Um, King being down in front of the He's whole prison. He's one of the few people that actually right. But he, but he, he holds his punches. So this is the first time that we got to see like what that means when you don't pull your punches. And the fact that Tom Holland still looks like a kid, like you really get and, and the way that they shot it, you really felt like those punches hit heavy as hell. Like, 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 also, yeah. shout out to them though too uh, for like you said, like with Kevin Feige and Tom Holland always referencing them when it comes to the fans using moves from the actual video game. Like when he shot the webs and he power bombs yeah, with that. Yeah. That's a move from the actual video game. Yeah, so yeah. it's like to allow them to have that put in there was just so great. What I love the was they had they had Doc Ock versus the Iron Spider, which they both had four things. Yeah, on yeah. yes, yep. it. You know, like we got some competition. That was like <laughs> that was the best. took his tech from it. It was like to fight each yeah. other. I was like, this is dope. Not only took his tech wheel, gave it back. Yes, 
gave, gave it, it back. back. Now, Willem Dafoe, mad respect to him because oh, he did all his God. own stunts. Yes, and that did. spear through the ground. Yes. Oh. It, 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 it felt like he was just, he he watched a ton of WrestleMania and he was like, all right, bet I'm about to do all these Yo. movies. He when was, he was getting punched in the face and he would look back with the smile, that was from the memes that we would always see from Willem Dafoe. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was it. It was and then Toby Maguire looking at him. Nobody didn't peep when they were saying uh Peter, and then he was like, You you should go, you should go. That that was the the the, the, the Spider-Man meme when they were not all, good enough. Oh, yeah, when they point, oh no, we caught it, we caught it when they were like, like, thing. No, I wish they had their mask on for that's the what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I would have loved for them to do that. That would have been great. I wouldn't even mind like an Easter egg at the end, they were kind of yeah. still there. And they yeah. go to the movies and all of them show up in the suits. But, but you know what? Like, what, like you said, Feige is the man with, with like with fan service because even with them, like even with them saying, "No, man, you're amazing," or them freaking out about. Oh, I love that combo. Yeah. Bro. He's like, can we, can we stop? Because everybody yeah. said he was the worst one. He yeah, like, I love it. Just like, yeah. You're and just you're how amazing. he kept going to let him sink in. He was like, yeah. "Can we just stop for a second? No, thank you. I you're need amazing. that. Right. Enough for, no, no, no. You're, can you say it? Right. He's like, he's like, are you Spider Man two? He's like, you Spider Man two or three? He's like, he's like, Spider Man three. Right. Three. I guess I, I'm the third best <laughs> thing. All right, I guess. They, yeah. I guess <laughs> and then they're freaking thing out about, about the web shooter. Like, I, I just oh, yeah. that part so was amazing it, too. So the, <laughs> he was like, I don't really want to talk about it. I feel like, yeah. I feel like you're making fun of me. He was like, I don't really want to talk about. Is that the only place we, he was hey. like, yeah, we, we can't do that. So <laughs> we can't. I don't know. It yeah, was right. amazing. And it's like, and that's where I'm saying they they fixed everything, they addressed everything, and they gave the fans a hug with that movie, yes. bro. Yeah. That was yes. that was Avengers Infinity War in game. It was like we're gonna tie all this together. And by any chance, as a, a Sony and a Disney breakup, both of them were good. Exactly. They didn't right. cross yeah. over again. Mm-hmm. Literally everybody in the MCU don't remember Spider Man no more, uh, yep. and now the the Sony Morse is set up to to, yeah. to go with Morbius and uh, uh, was it uh, Kragen? Not Kragen. Uh, what's his name? Craven. Oh, Craven. 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 Yeah, the whole, they, they, they can build but them. we don't know what's going to happen with Morbius as far as which Spider Man is going to show up because we saw Oscorp in one, the Tobey Maguire suit in another uh clip, and we saw um Michael Keaton's Vulture. Vulture. Yeah. So it's like yeah. which Spider Man is going to show up because Oscorp doesn't exist on yeah. Toby, I mean, to Tom Holland's universe. Yeah. And he also and he also used the Venom line, so Venom is known no. here, so then that means he's not. Who? Yeah. So right. now, which one is he in? Because exactly. They're in, mm-hmm. And then, um, Amazing Spider-Man never got introduced to that. So nope. that never got introduced crossed, to Venom. So mm-hmm. it crosses out Tom's, but that, but again, Venom's not introduced into Tom Holland's either. So but, it's no, like, but it goes back to what I was saying: is the Spider Verse separate from the multiverse? Because if so, then we can, st- then any one of them still can pop up into it because they have awareness of the multiverse and and, and everything that just happened within the past. Like them, the only ones. Because think about it this way: in this new Spider Man that they have now, everybody doesn't like everybody don't know who Peter is. So, in order for us to even have some some type of you know relationship of man, somebody I can go through this with. Why not lean le- lean heavy more into the triple Spider Mans? Like they may not all have to be on screen, but now we can be like, oh yeah, you know what? I know what's going on. I know everybody else don't, but I know that there's two other Spider Mans for sure that know what's like. That can be their glue that kick that keeps them together because they already been talking about like, okay, we may actually still get an Amazing Spider Man three. Like they started talking that some of these like now like you know Andrew Garfield may get a second shot, and then like you said, you know we may see Old Man Peter with Toby. So it's like. If they build upon that relationship, that, that that whole Spider Verse and everything, that's what keeps them linked to still knowing what's going on, where the whole world don't know. And that's how you can still like, okay, we can anybody can still be in this universe. Any one of these Spider Mans can. Well, Sony will do a good job, hopefully, by keeping consultation with Kevin Feige, because <laughs> I mean, honest to God, because Kevin Feige fixed all their mistakes, Ain't and when you. Now? Huh? Come on, Amy Pascal. She she the. Uh, I'm not saying no names. I'm just gonna say <laughs> as a company, Sony. So when you look at the Spider Verse in general, you got Tom, you got Andrew, and the reason Andrew, this is why I'm happy for Andrew. All this talk wouldn't have started if this boy didn't get hot on his own in spite of yeah. Spider Man, because yeah. before this movie, 
I mean, before I say before his last movie that just got him a golden globe, congratulations, Andrew Garfield, and him heating up, he was cold in their mm-hmm. eyes. Like he was doing box office films yeah. that weren't really, you know, delivering. So nobody was really talking about him. Now all of his stuff is hit at the same time. Yeah. And now Sony's like, well, you know, maybe, maybe we can do another Spider Man because he's making and, money. And you, but you, and, and the fact that you were the breakout character of right. that movie. He yeah. broke just be- out. Just man. because of the fact it was like, yo, like, you you were the worst Spider Man in their eyes, you know. Like I'm on the other side yeah. of the fence. I love this franchise. I love it. Know, yeah, but it's like you know he's not the greatest one to everybody else. So it's like right. for you to come in, not only to break, be the breakout character for them to the Spider on the other Spider Man to recognize you mm-hmm. as the amazing Spider Man, but then also to the fact of throwing in lines for you, like the whole thing of like I love you. The yeah. reason why it was so dope, it was it was improv. Yeah. yeah, that was not scripted. He just threw that out there. That's why they were like, "Thank you, thank you." And it was just so, I don't it's like that. Spider-Man would say, <laughs> "Don't you dare tell me thank you if I fucking tell you I love you." That's number one. I thought that when he said it in the movie, he was like, "I love you guys." They were like, "Thank you." I was like, "Thank, thank you. you." I thought that too. But I wouldn't have ran with him. I'm like, "Hold up." They also gave him a redemption moment because they allowed him to save this world's Mary J. Yeah. yeah. You know? And so did y'all, did y'all peep how when Tobey Maguire came into the shop? He had the same outfit on as the Spider Verse uh, guy. It was similar. You, you, ju- you just yeah. you just about to catch something. I was I'm actually like, are they gonna cross those over? I think so. What Sony's gonna do? Sony may give us that in the Into the Spider Verse two. I think they're gonna give us a clip where we see live action versions of all of them. So I think we will see a live action Miles Morales. I think we will see a live action Gwen Stacy. And I think we will see Toby as that older version Spider-Man when he hits into one of those multiverses. I do think that. Uh-uh, my back. My that back. Was, my, that was he's awesome. like, is it in, is it in like, kind of like the middle lower part? <laughs> like, yeah, man, I got that too. <laughs> that was the great. That meant seeing all three of them together. But also, I think the reason people don't like Andrew's I cried three times in that movie like I teared up three times <laughs> Andrew although I love Spider-Man 2 like the amazing Spider-Man 2 part one was in eh, but the reason is because when you look at Andrew he's the one who doesn't need spider powers like he's handsome he's got the That's big right. hair was he was cool yeah. Yeah, he, he was so leader. funny yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying and to, be honest, his ass off. and to be honest with you like a lot of people don't want to give him his credit but it's like yo He's the glue that gave us these pieces to yes. Tom Holland Spider Man because Toby is responsible for the cinematic version of us being able to see him in real life. Sam yeah. Raimi bringing that yeah. to live action, great. What a lot of people don't give the Amazing Spider Man credit for is the co- the comic elements he gave us, the mm-hmm. brighter colors, the the quips, the lines that he gave yeah. us. Seeing him in high school, like yeah. they gave us that comic book wonder again with the yeah. way that they shot it. Yeah. And so it was like, I don't think they give him enough credit for that because nope. they combine both of those and that's how we get now the Spider-Man franchise we got. Yeah. And you'd have never got that without Andrew. And it wasn't Andrew's fault that he wasn't in the Marvel universe by the time they made the deal. Yeah. It's like he he deserved a part three, and it was like, oh no, we're gonna just start from scratch. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's like man. Man. also to keep it a bean, if you think about the Spider-Man Deadpool relationship, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man will be the better fit for Ryan Reynolds Deadpool. Like I can't yeah. see, I can't see Tom Holland yeah. having those coops back and forth for those awkward relationship moments that they have in the comics. Yeah. I can't see him and Ryan Reynolds having that, but I can definitely see Andrew Garfield and Ryan Reynolds going back and forth with their, yeah. you know, with the comedic real, um, timing and just having those moments and those awkwardness. I like, I think that that, that is a better fit for that if they ever do that. Yeah, I'm gonna cry all over again. I'm like, why y'all do me like this, man? All these guys <laughs> references. I was like, man, when I, when I when I seen when I seen he's like Peter and he he came running up. I was like, I know that Peter. I yep. know that I know that spreader. Tell me about that. I was like, he better not take off his goddamn pants. <laughs> yo, yo, when I saw the eyes oh, and they first I, opened it, I was like, eyes. Yep. Yo, that's not, that's not all over again, man. And yo, and and this is the first time I've ever like in a theater has been there and yeah. wish I'd have went at night at like the seven p.m. showing because I went earlier and so you know I don't like to be in the movie theater with a lot of people, but I Ooh. wish I would have did it when everyone was there because 
No one was hype as I was. Ooh, I was oh, I was you like, tripping. My dude. And everybody looking at me like, what's wrong? Like, how are y'all not excited about this? And then yeah. you know what was yeah. happening. I'm like, that ain't Spider Man. That ain't him. And then he popped it off. I'm like, <laughs> that no, was the greatest. First of all, Will, I'm gonna tell you, you missed an opportunity. You should have gave yourself single camera for that for that reaction that you just gave. But, bro, when I my theater was hype, I saw it twice. The first time I saw it at 3 p.m. and the movie theater was packed. We were like the first day, so if it opened on the 16th, I mean, if it opened on the 17th, we were on the 16th, like that. Man, everybody went crazy when Andrew yeah. came on screen. Then everybody was like, no way when we yeah. saw Toby. Exactly. And yeah. it was just crazy. And then let me go back. When Willem Dafoe delivered that line, we erupted because we knew he was there to steal the show. Yeah. When he sat back, it was like, you know, I'm <laughs> something of a scientist myself. We've like <laughs> Did your, did, your, did your theater get get uh get get loud when uh, Matt Murdock showed up too? Because my theater, bro, of course, that's my theater went crazy. That's the whole universe because that's but, Marvel Netflix. We were like, yeah. oh, this is the first. But the, the second time that I went, theater did not get hyped for any of those moments. And I and, and what I, I want I want to get hyped again because the last time that I was at a theater that got that hype, it was it was Endgame. When when oh. when you heard on your left and, yeah. and they were coming through the portals, that was the last, like, the, the crowd, like, it was the same equivalent. And that's why I was like, I love this Spider-Man so much because I like, think about all the superhero movies that we went that we went through. Like, there's only few moments that get everybody hyped. There was like, there's, yeah. there's pivotal moments. When everybody yeah. got snapped, the theater was silent. And yeah. people didn't know what the hell happened when in game when he said on your left and the portal started happening or when you saw the uh, the uh, when you saw the hammer the lift the hammer. up like you yeah, know what I'm saying there were moments that the crowd erupted it went crazy and then I gotta yeah. disagree with that though we know I don't care whose theater I guarantee everybody's theater reacted like mine when because you gotta remember and this was my point saying with Hawkeye and saying with a uh, Scarlet Witch and. Um, Black Widow having their their TV shows instead of movies when they were supposed to happen, that crowds didn't care about these characters, right? Loki we cared about because we saw him be the villain in all these movies and he's so charismatic and he went on to do these big movies outside of Marvel and people just love him. So they made him an anti-hero and Thor Ragnarok and it's like, oh, I like this guy. I want yeah. him to get his own show. With Hawkeye it was like, alright, I mean, it's overdue. Let's watch. So when you see uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier that becomes Captain America and Winter Soldier. By the end of the series, we were like, all right, cool. This yeah. was done well. However, in Endgame, when he said on your left, yeah. did nobody say shit in that theater. You understand me? But they did get hype when Black Panther came to that world. Yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't hear yeah. you. Yeah. No, we, we, no, we, I, heard, I heard, yeah. When, when we were on your left, left, but when Black yeah. Panther came, we got louder. No, <laughs> exactly. No, no one came. It was just like, okay. Exactly. Too, yeah, it was just like, all right. And then it's like, all right. And then they opened up and you like, and it's the same thing too, though. And I, and I hate to say it, it was like when, and I feel like I don't want to shit on them for it, but it was like, yo, y'all still did the introduction of Captain America dirty because even his intro wasn't epic. It was like you flew into a regular building with all the lights off and it's a red lit light. And that's how I see your outfit for the first time. Yeah. Trash. Trash. You could have done way. I'm sorry, Marvin. Everything else. You could have done a way better job in allowing us to see the first black Captain America in his suit. But that's but, just me. But then, and I agree with you 100%, but then let's talk about that series because that was, I think that was the first one, right? That was the first series because that was before that was Loki. Wanda and yeah. uh, Wanda. No, right Wanda Vision was first. Okay. Was right so yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier was supposed to be first. And when you look at Falcon and Winter Soldier, that villain, the girl with the red hair and the freckles, she mm -hmm. wasn't a strong enough villain for them to face. Can I put a pin in it? I don't want you to finish. They had to, re they had to reverse those orders because that... Um, that series was about uh, a, a worldwide virus, so they had to redact a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, so you will see that. a lot of the shots over the shoulder, and they had to do like a lot of ADR to fix stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so they so got I, it. That was the worst of the series that I for me. Okay, yeah, because it, it just didn't come together, and that well, was the thing. And that because it was like y'all kept hitting that I disagree. magic and all of this stuff like that. And I'm just like so. What's really happening? Then it's like Agent Thirteen is now a bad guy. Why is she back? 
I was just like, that little if thing the white Captain America ain't here, why she here? That was that's, that was that was, was for him. It was wasted. It, they had they had the, kick, the kicking dude was there wasted. Killed him off. So the reason the reason why I disagree is any Captain America property, I look for um action, right? I I, I equate it to like born supremacy and like, like you know, mm -hmm. like mission impossible, like that type of action. And I feel like out of all the series, that was the best hand to hand action combat that we've gotten out of these series right now. Hand to hand combat, yes. Hand to hand combat, hand -to -hand combat yes. Yeah, hand to hand. When the soldier and US agent was going ham in them. Yeah, hand to hand, hand -to -hand. yeah. And oh, but I, I I will say that before San Chi, and then that's the thing too. No, I'm talking, that's I'm a talking, I'm talking shows. I'm I'm I'm. Okay, I'm show, show, show. 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 Plus. Show. But yeah. there's like plot holes that they left in there because aren't Agent Thirteen and Shan Chi's sister in the same city? And there's never a mention about her <laughs> taking over or being anything like that. So it's like, why didn't you make Shan Chi's sister the person they had to go talk to that's first? Smart. Mm -hmm. And then that way, it's after, like, though. I know, but you've already set us up to right, this, right, okay? Right, right. Because mm -hmm. again, it was no significance in her being revealed as the bad guy running that stuff. Like, we get it. If you running away and you in trouble with the feds, like, we get it. It made more sense to this person that started their own fight club that been there yeah. for them to be the point of contact to go talk to her. And again, we didn't need to know her significance <laughs> just yet. But yeah. now it looped in San Chi and then it looped in they thing hitting to the Thunderbolts as well. Mm -hmm. That movie, man. And let me just say, speaking of Shang Chi, Shang Chi was a dope movie. It was fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, I felt like they and they being Marvel, Marvel was like, we want only Asians. Oh, of course, course. yeah. We yeah. did Black Panther. Yeah, we that's want y'all right. to do Asian <laughs> Black Panther. Yeah. And they but just like Black Panther, they brought that one white boy up in there. They brought that actor back from Iron Man 3. And, and it was I like, like it though. I like it. Was it was amazing. I like, mm -hmm. But I love how they cleaned everything up with it. I think that yeah. probably is one of the best ones we'll see as a cleanup that they didn't have to do, but they did. And it was just like, do y'all do y'all realize how stupid America is? Being afraid of a dude named after mm -hmm. a chicken dish. That's okay. That was hilarious. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> who do y'all think is coming? Because at the end, they had said, because you use those 10 rings to kill that uh, monster, um, you have created a beacon that Galactus. Galactus. I think I think that's the beacon for Galactus. Yeah, I think that's so how much. he's gonna come to eat Earth. There's I so much. I think if you if you take a, if you take that that beacon and then you take the fact that there's like that Celestio that they stopped at the end of Eternals, it yeah. still emits power. And remember, uh, Galactus he doesn't physically eat power. He he takes the energy from that planet, the cosmic energy. Mm -hmm. So if you have that beacon that you put on there, and also you have the Celestio that it just we just pretty much frozen stone, but the um the 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 energy is still within it. Galactus is like, yo, this is here for the taking. I need this. I need this planet, and like, is all of that is is leading to that of uh, bringing Galactus to, to Celestials, Earth. bro. When we look at uh, the Eternals, I can't. I said this earlier, but I can't convey this enough. I my heart sank when I saw the size of the true Celestial in that movie, and even the one that's stuck yeah. in the water, and you just yeah. see his fingertips, yeah. which are yeah. massive. Yeah. I hate the feeling of feeling like I'm. And Help. ant, right? <laughs> because that's why I don't like large bodies of water, bro. Like, have you ever been on a ship in the yeah. middle of the ocean yes. and there's no land by no, it, and you just feel yeah. like, endless. If, oh yeah. my god! If it's if it's went down, it's over. Or no, I'm just gonna I'm just I'm gonna go into water and just or let, it, let the Lord take me. I can't do this. Clear if, they, if, they water. About, if they all talk about the world, how it it should be tsunamis, tsunamis, volcanoes. When this celestial comes out the water, it should be like tidal waves. It, they need to capitalize off of this, like right. Black Panther or something, because there's no way this can come out the ground and that the world kind of crumble a little bit. Wait, what? Or the we... fact, like, because like the fact, if the if this is right here, then that <laughs> means all of this is in the earth. Exactly. Along with this part, yeah. and the hand was sticking out. Yeah. I mean, half of the earth is is this part is in half of the earth right now. And where's yeah. his body? Was he in a fetal position? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, yeah, it, right, right, right. Well, we also didn't talk about 
like I said, with it coming out of the ocean, we didn't even talk about the impact that Namor is going to have with that because right. that's still Namor's playhouse. So it's like now you like you know what I'm saying like like no like if it didn't interrupt what's going on on surface world, it probably messed up some stuff in, you know, Atlantis or under the water. So now Namor probably going to come up like, yo, what the hell are y'all doing? The first, <laughs> season, first, uh, first movie of Namor uh, attacking this, this, you know, this creature is coming out. Well, that's it's supposed it's, to be, that's what Wakanda forever is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be oh. Wakanda versus them. Uh, Namor is supposed to be the villain mm-hmm. of Wakanda forever. And so that's why it's like, we're gonna see like what's gonna happen, but like how you said, Dion, there's a lot of like elements that they've left in here mm-hmm. that can really be explained and stuff like that. Even too to go back to like one division's thing, that whole city in real life, you know, is still locked down by the FBI trying to mm-hmm. investigate what the heck is happening, mm-hmm. and the fact that Agatha Harkness is still there pumping out magical energy, as we know, that's an aura just like celestial energy. It's being pumped out. And so they still have to tell us those layers of chaos magic, dark magic, light magic, sorcerer magic. We still have that whole layer to uncover that we don't even know about. And does that tie in with the us, with the uh, Eternals as well now that they're here? The good thing about the Eternals is that they acknowledged (laughs) Superman. They did. did. Which is the first time. I know that might seem my new to people. No, no. For years, DC has been acknowledging Marvel, like especially on the Flash, they'd be like, "Oh, like Spider Man, oh, yeah. like uh," you know. I'm like, "What?" But when you saw Marvel, they never acknowledged any DC property. And like yeah. I said, Feige is simple but genius, and for him to acknowledge Superman exists, yeah. it's like, "Uh oh, what I'm, could this possibly be in 12 years?" Well, I'm glad they opened that up to them because i think that's one thing that makes dc work is the fact that they do reference pop culture more especially like if you've watched uh the first justice league war when green lantern refers to batman he was like oh you mean like a vampire from true blood or something i'm like I know he did not just say yeah i'm gonna watch all eight seasons now just because it was so man and that goes to show you bro it's like First of all, speaking of that, last before we continue, Ryan Reynolds should have played the Flash and not the Green Lantern, and that's all. Yes. Played the Flash? <laughs> yeah, yeah he's Wally a better West? Flash. Oh yeah, he's Wally West. Way better. No, wait, no, no. You you think he should play Wally? I think he should be Barry. No, he's Wally movie. because you got to understand Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool is exactly what it would have been like him playing Wally West without mm-hmm. the cursing. Of course. That's it. I mean, okay, I guess, okay, I, I see that. I, I guess I was putting age on, because I'm like, he way too old to be Wally. No, we're talking about 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wally, we used to, is grown. Like, yeah. Before, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you now. Wally, yeah, because if I'm going to be honest with you, and this is just me, this is no disrespect to the Flash, I didn't for damn show sure erase Jay Garrett from my mind and replace Barry Allen with the tin hat. I was like, you that Flash, and Wally West is the one with the, with the suit. That's you. <laughs> I don't care what nobody <laughs> says. I don't like this. Thing, I, I, you know, one thing that me and CT is uh, definitely agree upon. Like, I'm a DC fanboy. I love DC, um, but I do not right. like Urz, I do not like Urza Miller's Flash at all. I'm not excited for. I, I'm excited because he's more of a Wally. That yeah. I, mean, I think we talked about that before. Yeah. Yeah, more of a Wally. So yeah, but I, I know this. I don't want to stay on DC, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I do, I do. <laughs> Sorry you about think, that. Do you think uh, the MCU now that they own the property? would bring in the Fox universe as a multiverse. Like uh, I think they acknowledge it. Yeah, I think they acknowledge it. Like I think CT said earlier, I don't think that they're gonna bring in everybody. They may bring in a select few and I mean like two. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what, like, you know even going hold on hold on this, this be so fucking I know I know you going this, this be so confusing if they brought in this would be so genius and fun for us if they brought in the original Fantastic Four from a different universe, so it'd be two Captain Americas and, and uh, the uh, the Human Torch, but also the new Fantastic Four. The, I mean, the recent one, which had Michael B. Jordan be Killmonger, and he would be the. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, what? Just for a yeah, cameo. I just, want, I just want all four of them playing their characters in the room and do the Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet is quiet is t- uh, kept. Chris Evans as Human Torch was amazing. As he was the best thing to come out of the movie. He was yeah. amazing yeah, as yeah. Human Torch. 
Maybe. Listen, the only reason I saw Fast and uh, Fast and Four, the only reason I saw Fantastic Four uh, Part Two is because Chris Evans looked so dope and yoked up when he dove yeah. off the building of the wedding and yeah. said, flame on. Yeah. Because that part of the trailer looked so great to me, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see it. The whole rest of the movie was strange. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, Fantastic Four is trash, by the way. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, so, oh, it is right man. to the point. What do you wish to call each other? Fantastic. Well, you got to remember what how, what comic books was doing at that time. You had to have a big word, and then you had to have something that describes as well. So it was like the amazing Spider Man, the yeah. uncanny X Man, yeah. incredible. Right, you got to have yeah. something, you know. Yeah. Amazing, incredible Hulk, spectacular Spider Man. Right, there it is. Yeah, there, you go. there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but now, just like you said, though, if you say in the MC, if, if, if the MCU will acknowledge the Fox universe. I think the only way to really do that and get everything we would like to see just in a way is Deadpool. Deadpool is the only way you can make that work. It's just mm -hmm. like how he did in Deadpool 2. And it's like, how am I always here? And ain't none of the main X-Men here. And then they all close the door. I was like, yeah, yeah. that was the best. That, that was... He can do that with all of them. The Logan, if we want to finally see Logan in the MCU, Deadpool. We want to see X-Men, Deadpool. Like you said, if the two, like, I would love to see Deadpool in a counselor room, like I said, with Johnny Storm, Chris Evans, uh, him as Captain America, and him as Green Lantern, just, so, how do you feel about your choices in life? That would be so funny. Because that would be so Here's what I think would be funny as well. I was going to say, um, and, and CT and, and Deanna, I'm going to lean on y'all for this because I know that y'all have um, experience with di like directing and putting together stuff. What? How many? How many f bombs can you drop before the movie bec uh, becomes rated R? Like, isn't there like a limit or something like that? There is a limit. Uh, I feel like you only get one, but I've heard two. But I feel right. like you get one. Because on our podcast, we like, said. Hey, yeah, on our podcast, we always said that it should be like literally like Deadpool, like uh, like he acknowledged it. Like, look here, this movie's gonna be rated R. I'm gonna drop two f bombs in this movie, and then like throughout the movie, it's like that that that, that ongoing joke. Like when he drops it, he's yeah. like, "That's one." And then he can, like, I get F, can I get an F count? Yeah, yeah. Like, can I get, like, I can I get an F count? Of his yeah, because or of his they keep character. Cutting him off. Or they keep cutting him off and, and, and picking up with another word. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. kiss my ass. No more questions, guys. Like, <laughs> or, then a, or then another one get thrown off of there. He could be like, holy. You know what? I'm not going to use my last F one on this one. I'm going to save it. Yeah. I'm going to save it for another scene. Yeah. But, and then but, go, but, thing, but I. Uh, but I I, oh, I I do want to acknowledge the younger younger Avengers, but you yes, know, you notice that they had they set up all they set up all the original Avengers, and now they have yep. the new ones. They had the they got She Hulk, they got Miss Marvel, mm -hmm. they got Kate Bishop, they got Wiccan, Weekend, and Speed. Yep. Uh, they got the new, like Captain America. They got oh, the Patriot, America, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, Iron Heart. Oh, really? out. Iron Heart. Yeah, yep. is in there. Yes. Oh, uh, the new Thor. Right. Oh, they got new Thor. Yeah, Love and Thunder. Jane. Jane Foster is Jane. on. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, to get uh, Mjolnir in the new uh, Thor movie. Uh, I figured the, the the new our the new Avengers going to be like a brainwashing Avengers, and they, they become dark or something like that, and then they're gonna have to have their uh, the younger version fight them or get them free or something like that. I, I feel like that that's how they're gonna set it up to kind of retire. The original uh, Avengers. It's so weird to hear that because I don't know if they'll fight them as much as they'll just step up to the plate for an event. Because, like, now we mentioned a lot of the Avengers that we've had, they're gone. So, you yeah. look at Ironheart, there is no more Iron Man. You look at Falcon, who is now winner, uh, Captain America, the original cap is gone. So there's nobody to fight that, and then you look at um. Well, no, you well you, you got you got the new Captain America versus Patriot because they've already crossed paths in the show. Right, so, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, so they they could fight each other because there's always been that hostility, and you see in the episode with his slick mouth and stuff. So, but now here's the solution. That's definitely going to be a Disney Plus show because you can't honestly tell me that, that anybody yes. wants to see that in the no, theater. That's, that's a six episode <laughs> well, show. Well, here's I'll watch that. Here's what the scrolls they can have the scrolls secret invasion as the, the old the OG 
uh, Avengers. Right. I to be honest you. with you, to be honest with you, y'all finna hate this. That's gonna be Secret Wars. Right. That's gonna be the Secret Wars show. Because mm -hmm. think about it. If you know the Secret Wars movie, yeah, you've already yeah. made it to where that can't happen. But here's yeah. what. Here's why I think the Young Avengers, their first actual mission is going to be them versus the Dark Avengers. Because remember, we already established that Val is creating something. And usually she's the she's like the um she's like she creates the dark Avengers like in general. So she's recruiting. So I believe that that first thing we're go is going to be a team up because it's like where does the dark Avengers play into all everything? They're not going to be the big bad. So how do you address this uh, this group of you know super powered individuals but who have you know nefarious acts that they're going to be doing? You get the Young Avengers to fight them because all the other people are going to be fighting Galactus, Kang, and all this other stuff. So the Young Avengers, that'll be—I think that'd be their first mission. Well, well then that might that might be the Thunderbolts then, because that's what I thought Val might be setting up because she's also working with. Oh Yelena yeah, you're too. right. Yeah. So it might be Young Avengers versus the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolt. Yelena is also a Thunderbolt, and we've already seen uh, the General in there as well, who is Red Hulk. Yeah. So and a U.S. agent. So it might, like we said, but all of that still. Is a Disney Plus series. No matter yes, what. it is. <laughs> and it's still a Disney Plus series. Man. Um, so yeah, but I but I would like to see that though, just to like I, I think it may be a little bit too early for young Avengers and stuff like that, but I think it would increase them and it would also increase the Thunderbolts as well for us. Because like I said, like we've seen Thanos, we've seen Thor, like we went to space, we've seen Avengers assemble. So it's just like yo. Right, young Avengers ain't gonna hit like that. No, <laughs> ain't no young. I, I'm sorry, I don't care if it if it's a black patriot. I don't care if him catching that hammer and be like young Avengers. A simple, yeah, song. it's like <laughs> <laughs> cut this song, bro. I don't want to see that shit in theaters. I barely want to watch that shit on Disney Plus. Like it's like because all of these heroes, like a uh, perfect example. When I watched the Hawk, when I watched the Hawkeye show. Kate Bishop, uh, what's her name? Her name is Haley Steinfeld. Hi, Haley, Stein, I was like, she's a cute girl, but I was watching one episode and I got give me the screen for this one, bro. I was watching one episode. <laughs> give me the screen for this one. I was so annoyed at one episode where she was talking to Yelena, and when she was talking to Yelena, she kept doing a something stinks face, like <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, she doesn't know any other expression to give us for this scene. I don't want to see like, this I, on big screen. I was like, I don't know what you're you're doing because like it don't look like you confuse. It look like like That's you crazy. said, <laughs> some stink. Yeah, what stinks? Bitch, why you keep on making his face? This but, I say, so annoying. but I will say to Hawkeye though, one thing I did love was how they definitely beefed up Kingpin. Whoa, loved yeah, how he put his hands. On her and so I love how they beat yeah. that up. So I do look forward to that. I look for I do also look forward to the Echo series because I feel like Kingpin will show up in the Echo series as well, oh, yeah. especially you know, after uh, shooting him and stuff like that. So now what's the Echo series? Um the, the chick. So I so Echo, I'm not sure how they're gonna do because Echo technically has powers too. Echo is mm -hmm. supposed to be of Native American descent, and she has like a fire type of uh power and stuff like that but she, again she's also deaf and combat trained that's echo yeah, yeah. that's echo the, the, oh, the, the deaf chick that's got echo. it yeah got it. so we know she's getting her own series so we know kingpin most likely will return in that one as well so she gets her like, own series yeah, yeah, they announced it at the last uh, Disney Plus stream. Kevin Feige yeah. giving everybody one boy yeah, I, don't I, know. I, I mean uh Riri really is getting her own series but you got number two I think that right now we're I think right now we're and we're in the age of now we're gonna truly get one off like comics. You gotta think about it with comic books, they always when they relaunch a new like when they redo the worlds, you know, they do the new fifty two or whatever, they front load heavy with the major players and then they and then they finally branch off and start giving you these one offs where like they're slightly tied in, but you can watch this without having to really tie it in. I think that that's what Echo said, like you know, we're gonna get these series whereas these people is like they're gonna have a, a good story. Storyline, something good. It may 
may not be pivotal to the main storyline. It has some connection, but yeah, we're going to give you this storyline. And I think that that's what they're doing. They're, they're changing the platform of we're, we're, tre- we're going to treat movies and TV series like actual comic books now. And we're going to give you this where it's like, it's, like I said, it's loosely connected on certain ones. Certain ones are pivotal. Like you, mm-hmm. We're going to have it where they're going to they're gonna have the tree where it's like, okay, if you want to make sure you watch everything, this is the, the, the pivotal mm-hmm. line. Now we've got these branches off that's coming on that they're still connected to it, but you don't mm-hmm. have to necessarily follow that if you want to follow that main storyline. That's what I think the MCU is finally going to. But here, even hearing that, that doesn't make that's not a smart business move. Like now, let's go into the CT business hat, bro. Now, when you look at the movies that Marvel's released, oh, you can take me out. I don't need to scream. When you, <laughs> oh, I, don't I appreciate you. you. Uh, I don't need to scream. I just needed to put a thank place. So, uh, when you look at the movies that they released, when they did Guardians, Guardians was there. Hey, this is a branch. But if you guys love it, we'll bring it into the main story. Yeah. And that's what they did. Now, mm-hmm. when you look at Guardians, they made a mistake right there. And what that was is they introduced us to the Nova Core, but they didn't yeah. give us the Nova Core. And I'm like, yeah. bro, this is the movie I want to see. The Nova yeah. Core. I've been waiting yeah. for Nova to show up for 10 years. And right. well, ever since Cap, uh, Capcom versus Marvel. So, or Marvel mm-hmm. versus Capcom. So with them doing these separate branch TV shows, you're gonna they're gonna go down this hole where they become so niche that it's not gonna get the views that it that it deserves. So like Eternals didn't succeed superly because of that reason. Yes, yeah, but but also too though, it lead what it does for that is it's great because it gives us so many elements that boosts up these other ones for that. So kind of how, like I said, like with the Spider-Man thing and Andrew Garfield, yeah. it's the same thing for Guardians of the Galaxy. Even though it was not known, it wasn't anticipated to really make that much. It actually saved their franchise by putting it out because it saved Thor's franchise heavily because Absolutely. the second one was trash. But it was yeah. because of the fact that they were trying to shape the outer space and kind of this, you know, Shakespearean type thing. It mm-hmm. went to Guardians of the Galaxy. We saw what the universe looks like. Yeah. And then they adapted yeah. Thor into that universe, which Makes made sense. him 10 times better. So we Thor have- Ragnarok started off just a work of art because nobody <laughs> remembers yeah. Thor too. However, exactly. you don't remember Guardians of the Galaxy too either because it was not good. <laughs> It was not. Nice. Um, first of all, I, the fact not. you didn't show ego as a planet. <laughs> I'm like, even when he blow up, y'all not gonna show up as a planet? Nope. But they what got mantis. Mantis. You got mantis. You got mantis. What'd you say? Well, yeah. I do hope they got mantis. Got mantis. She was very important to uh, to to try to uh, brainwash uh, uh, Thanos. So that was a good little play. Yeah. Um, sorry. But, how is that night the, not the whitest scene in Marvel history? Like, yo, like, I would have just stopped fighting Thanos when he'd be like, hold on, my nigga. Word? We were that close? You couldn't hold off for four seconds. No, it's not even the hold off. This is this is what yeah. pisses me off about that moment, and this is what I talk about all the time. I say you saw you saw Iron Man blast him, you saw Hulk fight him, you saw all of this, and your resolution in this moment because you heat it is the gun bottom. You thought that that was going to really kill him? Bro? You saw all these super violent individuals could not take out Thanos, but you think the butt of your gun is going to knock him out and kill him in this moment of rage? I was so pissed off. Fellas, I'd have been a class A asshole after that. Happened. I'd have gave Thanos the whole stone. Snap now, snap now. Snap now. Can, I, can I also add? Yeah. Can I also add that at this time, Doctor Strange already knew this was going to happen. Oh yeah. So he had to sit there and watch it like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, and the uh, and the other stuff he had to be thinking about too, because I don't care what nobody say, and I don't know if everybody else caught this, but. I know he low key mad and got beef with Wong right now. Oh yeah, uh, because, oh, yeah. because of the fact he ain't Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so, because if you know this, him and Wong ain't fucking with each other like that. Nah. They not. They not. But I but- also. Why? What? Like, what happened to the point where Wong got to? He got to do scams in the Fight Club. Like him and Abomination got a whole scam going on. I'm like, you're Sorcerer Supreme. Why are you running this scam? Like, what is well, no, going that, on? But that, no, but that's the thing where I think too. That's where the controversy is coming from because I think 
Wong gets the bigger picture and is trying, like you said, if they are setting up Dark Avengers, it's setting up all those plays. Yeah. So you need a mystical force to fight, which you said Dark Avengers, but he can also believe you need the Thunderbolts too, which is the folks who can go do these missions when Captain yeah. America's and them can't. They can't go to do these things because it might be too dangerous as uh, far as public look. And so, so that's, that's what Wong may be setting them up for. But Wong and also, man, you got to respect. Man, Go ahead, Dan. He's Doctor Strange because he know how to do it now, and he yep. had the cape on. Yeah. So they they set it up for Doctor Strange, little young young Ned. Uh, but he don't remember that. Remember, he don't exactly. remember doing that. Exactly. I don't think he remember. He don't remember Doctor Strange. Nah, remember, no, now I remember. If that, so if he don't remember <laughs> Peter, those events never happened yeah. for them. So right. as far as they're concerned, well, they got the if that's the case, how does a happy no Aunt May then? Spider Man is the liaison of that. No, 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 so, take, no, 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 no. Iron Man he, is. Well, yeah, yeah. So he he knows Aunt May. Remember that if you at the grave, what they said was he was like, "How do you know her?" He said, I met him through Spider Man. He said, "So did I." Remember, the world don't know Peter Parker. The world knows that Spider Man is there, and that there's a Spider Man in his world. So, in what the reason why Happy still remembers is, yeah, I I had interactions with Spider Man, and through Spider Man and nope. and Tony, I'm, I possibly. He said, I knew her through a friend, which is what Will's going to, which was because of Tony Stark. Tony Stark is the reason that they know Aunt May. Now, the reason that Peter knows, I think the reason that Peter said was uh, the shelter that she worked or something like that. Please, but it yeah, wasn't please. Spider-Man. I thought he said Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'm tripping. I don't know. Yeah. He said but he said when you look at Wong and Doctor Strange, if you see that opening scene, they got a little beef, but Wan mm -hmm. knows that if, if Strange was there, he wouldn't be Sorcerer Supreme. So there's right. still that little, hey man, do what you want. I don't want to be a part of this shit. And he did that. So he still paid him that respect. Yeah, because you could tell. And then too, it's funny because it's like, I was like, I wonder how Doctor Strange does feel that you're now technically number three That's in funny. power. Because it's Wong, then Scarlet, then you. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you this. Where, where's the time stone? They said, does, does he still have the time stone? It was destroyed. No. Because if, they took, if Captain America took the time stone back to... Um, You're to forgetting the, the timeline. Yeah, remember, he destroyed... He uh, Thanos, right. Thanos, there's no more Infinity Stones. They don't exist right. anymore. Yeah, the he destroyed them all. Yeah, he destroyed them, and that's why they went back in time to get them from different timelines, and they had to yeah, send them back yeah. to those timelines. And they had to use yep. the quantum realm to go back in time, not the time stone. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so all of those are gone. So that's why it's like I'm not a protector of that anymore. So that also yeah. makes sense as to why Wong is moving the way he's moving now, because it's like, yo, we got to protect this place. Yeah. Because we don't have the stones, and that'll be why that'll be what happens in Ant Man's. What is it? Quantum, quantum what? Of madness. No, quantum no, quantum of madness. Is it quantum madness? Quantum mania. Yeah. Quantum mania. Quantum mania is a direct fallout for the quantum verse. But at the same time, Doctor Strange, they basically should have said this is Spider Man Part Two without Spider Man. I mean, Spider Man right. No Way Home Part Two without Spider Man. Yep, that's exactly what it is. But also too. A theory that I got was we got to remember we are seeing all of this in Doctor Strange's perception. So we also got to count that. Now, again, I am getting a little too deep in it. I don't know if Kevin Feige, you know, Kevin Feige may not jump into that, but, and you know, because I know we got to kind of wrap this too, but you remember when he cast that spell and everything broke apart? Yep. Who's to say they came back to the timeline that they were originally in? Right. Who's to say they're on the earth that they're supposed to be on, which, like he Ooh. said, leads into the multiverse of madness. Yeah. So everything that transpired just now, we have no idea where that is, nope. where that leads us off, yeah. and who's watching those events for that to happen. Yeah. And since, and then just one more thing to add in there too that I think we're also now going to get because we got two elements of it now. Thanks to Deuce mentioning that. No. I think the king of the symbiotes is going to finally be brought into the MCU. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. 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 They've already <laughs> shown where he was, which is nowhere, because nowhere yeah. in Gardens of the Galaxy, no, that's a celestial, and no killed that celestial. And so nowhere is the birthplace of the symbiotes. Mm. And since Thanos destroyed that, 
What's to say Noel doesn't go back and that's where that comes from, or if it wasn't already done already? Mm. So that's why I say those little pieces from these movies and shows that are kind of tertiary, there's some small parts that can tertiary. Yeah, damn, that's a word for you. That's a big word for him. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's funny. They also like I think that's what Marvel and the MCU is really good great at because even with them having the Beta Ray Bill statue in Ragnarok mm-hmm. and knowing what Beta Ray Bill is to Thor and the Thor and that and that whole arc and everything like that, like I'm excited to see what it, when they finally introduce Beta Ray Bill because they were supposed to introduce him in the Ragnarok, but the director said, you know what, this character's too big for us to just throw into this movie, which I respect. You know, as a fan of these characters, I'm like, I respect if you choose to leave somebody out because you feel like they I, I want to do them justice and just throwing them in this movie they're not going to do them justice because you know like the I, like as far as like the future of MCU I'm I'm excited to see when we finally get the uh the silver surfer that we deserve when beta ray bill comes and then um you know when we finally get like I hope they give us the true Doctor Doom like the 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 one that like is just pure destruction that scares yes. the fuck out of everybody. Yes. Like those are the three people that I'm like I, if, if I can't wait till they show up in the MCU. Here's the thing, when you say that, now we've already we know it's going to be Kang. Kang is going to be the guy, but I didn't say how mm-hmm. it was going to be. I can promise you that Galactus is the new Thanos as far as them taking mm-hmm. the 10 years to build, right? Yeah. Or in his case, 8 years to build because it was uh 2012 was when Avengers came out. So mm-hmm. When you look at this, is how the order is going to be. It's going to be uh, Kang, and then just like they did, like a Civil War, which was kind of like Avengers two point five. That's yeah. when you'll start to see um, Doctor Doom presented. And by the time we get Galactus, he'll already be massive as fuck. If it's not an A, yeah. if it's not a B story, it'll be an A story. But you definitely will yeah. see the Doctor Doom that Kevin Feige wants because the only property we don't have in Marvel, I said we like I'm a, like I'm not a DC <laughs> guy, but it's like the only <laughs> property that Marvel doesn't have now is the Spider Man universe. So they yeah. have everything else except for the Hulk. But anybody tripping off the Hulk? Because Mark Ruffalo ain't getting no solo film. No, 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 no. That's not necessarily true. Now, thanks yes, to She Hulk, we no. might actually be getting World War Hulk. I'm looking at right now. I'm, I'm no, 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 real shit. Because apparently in the show, hey, you got to think about it though. Hey, 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 hear me out. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Because remember, Nick Fury's in space right now. Yes. Yeah. And you got to remember, there's Professor Hulk, but we also got to remember, too, in the comic books, when he become Professor Hulk, that's when that insane stuff started happening. And then he decides to split from the Hulk. Mm-hmm. And that's when Dr. Banner start losing it because they're no longer uh, together. But there is a part to where the Hulk can leave this planet to go try and do something where it leads to that. Because they also said rumors is that his son is also going to be now introduced into the MCU as well. Will, give me the screen. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the glass off. I hear all that, Will. However, I'm going to hit you with these facts, okay? Now, the universe has been, and by universe, I'm talking about the movie-goer universe. We have been very respectful, very loving of Mark Ruffalo and all of his portrayals of the Incredible Hulk. However, nobody wants to see Mark Ruffalo's Hulk <laughs> be the lead of anything. Now, we still hold on for hope that Ed Norton will fix it with Kevin Feige and get another chance. However, when we see the She-Hulk series, you're going to see a TV version of the Incredible Hulk not leading, but appearing, and we're cool yeah. with that. Because by the time Endgame ended, that arm was mangled, and that yeah. brother's getting old. You know what I'm talking about? The character of the Hulk is getting old. But, so but he's Professor Hulk though now. But that's the thing, like he's Professor Hulk, so all he gotta no, do. No, he's not. Because remember at the end of Shang Chi. Oh Chi, yeah, that's right. He changed back. back. So he, he not, changed he's back in Shang Chi. You're right. He can control him now. Yeah. So they might have the old now. Hulk, uh, Ma- 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 Maestro. Uh, remember when Maestro when he finally separated and then he could control yeah. Yeah. back to back when he yeah. had that old beard. So, so you're talking about the whole family, but then if we get that, then they got to introduce Wolverine. Because then you, because remember, that's when Wolverine has his most vicious battles. When he's fighting the Hulk family and he's fighting old Hulk and like Maestro and everybody, like that's the most vicious battle. Like you, then you really got to introduce Wolverine because we got to get that. 
Yeah, but okay. then also too now, but now, but then you got to tie in Hawkeye, which is the lost eye with the missing arm now. So you got to yeah. tie that Hawkeye in too, because he's still the reason he's why they're not going to have the reason why they brought Bruce, Bruce Banner back down fi financial reasons to have him in a whole series because <laughs> you know how oh, yeah. expensive you know how expensive yes. that is. Like we're gonna put all oh, yeah. our money in her, in her, yeah. because because she can't come back out of that. Uh, she, she's, no. Mm -hmm. She's seen that forever. And if we're being honest, though, I don't think we're going to see that till the end. I don't, think, I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to see her become full She-Hulk until the end. Budgets. But let me yeah. ask you this. When they showed, and I'm going to have to YouTube this, when they showed Bruce Banner at the end of Shang-Chi, did they show him with the arm brace on? Yeah, he, he had an arm brace on. Yeah, he right. that's that. like this. That goes to show you that the Hulk never recovers as far as no, no, they, they, they cover that up too. They said that he will he will be fully recovered in She-Hulk. So that was one of the things that it was. They said, said that? His, yeah, his arm will be fully recovered. Because wow. you got to think about it, when you see it in there, it's regrown and stuff like that. And what makes that possible is Avengers 2, that Asian chick with the generation. Remember when Hawkeye got shot and they added tissue to his side? Yeah. That's how he'll he get his arm back. That so if that's how he gets his arm back, then how does the Hulk get his? Because I asked that because the Incredible Hulk, not I, first of all, also you know, Wilfair, I play Avengers every single day on <laughs> on the PS5. So when you look at the Incredible Hulk, the Incredible Hulk's physiology is completely different than Bruce Banner's. So yeah. when you look at Bruce Banner, he's this super small guy mm -hmm. that basically doesn't even share a body with this guy, but shares a body with this guy. And then he hulks out and becomes this massive being. So my question is how? How will this arm that was mangled on the Hulk that mm -hmm. seemed to go down to Bruce Banner, have his arm healed, have the Hulk's arm healed? So I, the way I put the way I would think of it is, and I ain't gonna say that the scientific, just thinking about it from a breakdown. Yeah. It's the way I've always seen it is the whole uh Bruce Banner is schizophrenic. So uh -huh. he has a split personality disorder. Mm -hmm. Um and Hulk is that other personality. What powers him is the gamma exposure that he had. So right. what happens is this body enlarges thanks to the gamma radiation, but it's only manipulating what's there. Uh, so, so again, if that arm is mangled, it's gonna try to manipulate what's there. But yes. since it's like that, that's why it's like that. Just like if you notice in the Avengers game when you played it, how how uh Hulk looks sick and yeah. kind of bruised up in the first part, and so was uh Bruce because of the way they had been. So the effects that happens on Bruce does happen to Hulk with a sure. matter of time happening. I'm glad that you said that because now that honest to God, that might be the thing that just got me excited for She-Hulk, which if they're saving all her CGI towards the last episode, <laughs> they definitely got to do the same for him because they're going to be fired in though. <laughs> oh, yeah, they didn't show nothing in the trailer and I think they showed, I can't remember, remember, remember but I think they showed Mark Ruffalo talking to her and stuff. And besides, and it's just like, you kind of want to get, and then too, you also want to kind of get your money's worth for paying for this actress to be shield because, like you said, you won't see her no more. So she's gonna start getting that Vin Diesel group money bag after that because she can't turn <laughs> back. Yeah, so it was like, yo, let me give you five episodes to shine on, and then that sixth one, hey, get ready, you finna grow, and you ain't gonna be on camera no more. Or give her four, and the last two be her as that, but at the same time. That's when you hope that this series makes a lot of money because a season two is going to be expensive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is why, which is why you may need to have Young Avengers and the rest of these. Which is, which the thing is too, I don't think She Hulk is gonna get a season two. Mm. I think She Hulk is definitely just to introduce her to the MCU, and she just because okay. you gotta remember that's kind of the same way the Hulk was. The Hulk didn't have a comic book. Until a little bit later, he was popping up in everybody else stuff, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he really didn't get too many villains like that until later on. Besides his, his, his only villains was Abomination and the Thinker. By the way, dumbest name for fucking yeah, yeah. the Thinker. Like it's also a name of another villain in DC, the Thinker, which is unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just like, but his <laughs> makes sense in the DC. I was like, yeah. yo, his yeah. made perfect sense why he's called that. Yours is like. Yeah, Come on, you could have uh, been any. So didn't he pop up in Wolverine's comic book first? The Hulk? Um, I think he was so. like gray. He, he was yeah, gray. yeah. First he was gray, and then they then they finally came out with one, and then they switched him to uh green a couple of comics later. So mm. 
It's a lot coming our way. And as we can see with us yeah, talking about this, we got a lot of predictions coming our way. But I will say, no matter if it was, you know, throwing that fishing net out there, trying to reach, <laughs> or even giving some mind blowers, I just want to say each and every one of y'all gave out some incredible predictions. And, and definitely, just like how CT said, opened up a lot more possibilities based off of the perception y'all have from here. And I hope we all did the same for y'all that are watching here today. And so I want to thank each and every one of y'all for checking this out. Let us know in the comments as well what your predictions are. But before we get out of here, though, I always want to make sure that my guests get a chance to spotlight themselves and let people know what's happening. I'm going to start off with Young Deuces. We're going to move over to... <laughs> Dion, and then of course, last and certainly not least, Mr. CT. So, deuces, you <laughs> man. What's going on, man? Again, man, thank you for having me, man. This was amazing. Right now, man, we're working on our season five of one on one with deuces. I'm going to be starting that up on the 22nd of this month. Um, and like you said, got a couple of interviews lined up. You know, um, the way we drop them, we drop them on our um, on our Instagram and our and our social media. So, if you go to at Geek Set Podcast, that's how you'll be able to see who's coming up. Up and and how we drop it, we try to do it like the week of or the week before. Uh, but you know, the one of the first people that I'm uh, that I'm dropping on the 22nd is David Crownson. He created Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer, the comic book that's going to be turned into a show by Princess Penny, the showrunner of uh, Insecure. So it's really dope, and had a really dope conversation with him. Um, and then you know, on our YouTube, man, we drop our podcast every two weeks. Again, it's Geek Set Podcast, the only podcast that blend hip hop culture and geek culture together in one place. We talk about everything, anime, hip hop, comic books, video games, and we go in depth in the way that we sound like now when we talk about geek stuff. Um, and then on our Twitch, man, twitch.tv backslash geek set, Mondays and Tuesdays, my guy Bacardi and Diz, they Twitch, and then we, you know, we just randomly jumping on. If you want to jump on with us on Knockout City, man, follow us because, you know, that's what we're rocking right now heavily. Um, and then, yeah, man, you know, Geek Set Rewind is another show that we got coming soon. That's where we watch anime and give our live reactions to it. So it's like we got a couple of shows. We're trying to build our, our network and try to build everything that we got. So if you follow at Young underscore Deuces or at Geek Set Podcast or just go to our website, geeksetpodcast.com and you'll get all the updates and information about what we're doing and where we're going to be at and everything. So yeah, man, I appreciate anybody who comes from this stream and I do appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Dean, Leon, you, you are. <laughs> 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 Like the, uh... <laughs> oh, this nigga is shirtless shorty 03. Shirtless shorty. Let me call him the L A C K. It got high real quick, man. I'm sorry. Um, I have a game show coming out very soon. Uh, that, that's it, man. Drink your water one time for the people. Drink your water, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Book your hat, no shirt on. I got money. God. God, you are the greatest of all time, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen, guys, first of all, Will, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored anytime you hit me to be a part of anything, man. Um, shout out to the to the arcade tokens. You guys are the greatest. Um, I just dropped a comic book called The Misadventures of CT. If you would like to check it out, issue number two is on its way. It's completely hey. different to issue one. I'm building a universe. Um, yes, the misadventures of CT. If you would like to check it out, go to uh Linktree slash CT is dope where you can find everything CT. I'm kind of still on hiatus from content, but I'm about to shoot some more and it'll be to the people soon. Same CT all day. Hey. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And as always, man, y'all know where to find me. A uh, few things have changed. Like I said, you can always find all of my socials. It's Will Farrow. On my YouTube, it's the same thing, but we are now WP Media. That is right. Mm. It's now being expanded into my own production company, of course. Stepping out, doing content. And like I said, man, folks like these guests I've had here today are those that inspire me to really step into my own and keep walking my individual path. So you'll continue to see Straight Out of a Comic Book, Farrow's 
Vault, new format coming for Pharaoh's Vault. Can't wait to have these folks on here for the podcast edition. Definitely going to tell y'all about that um, in just a little. But yeah, check out that. Make sure you check out my Twitch every Wednesday, 7.30. Uh, that'll also be coming in. We had a Heels to Jesus Hour with myself and Lou G. I will Let's Play. And of course, if you want to learn some graphics with me and the Legion, come on down to my Twitch at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And of course, Eastern Standard Y'all already know what time that is. That's 10 for y'all. And then, of course, my album that will be dropping this year, 80s Hell of a Night. Get ready for that, man. So I can't wait. I'm excited. And so I just, again, I want to thank my guests for coming in, Young Deuces, Dion Lack, and, of course, CT. It is always a pleasure to be with y'all. That's why this episode is almost three hours, because this is what happens (laughs) when you got dope individuals talking about something they love. And I can't wait till we start talking about DC. (laughs) So... Uh, Follow these folks. Follow myself. Support. Do what you can. Thank you so much for checking it out. And again, in the comments below, let us know your predictions for Marvel 2022's Cinematic Universe and Disney+. Plus. I have been the Anomaly Will Farrow, and we will catch you next time. Toodaloo. Don't you want to smoke?